today we're going to make a bird sculpture. We'll start with pencils and cardstock. You can use cardboard that you find around the house, maybe an old cereal box, or if you have some cardstock that you can use, either one will be fine. It just needs to have some weight to it. First thing you want to do is to draw a silhouette of a bird, a bird template. And once you have this drawn out the way you like it, then I want you to cut it out. So once you cut it out, you want to lay it down on your cardboard. Now I'm going to lay it down on the darker cardboard so you can see it. Just lay it down and draw around it very carefully. And you want to draw two of these, but you don't want to draw them facing the same way. You want to flip it over and draw it going in the other direction. And the reason for this is when we place these two pieces together, the decorations that we put on the outside of it want to be facing out. And if we have them on the same side, then one will be facing in. So just turn them in the opposite direction and then draw two of these shapes. You can draw any shape that you like. I drew some little smaller ones little baby birds, or you can draw larger birds, your choice on which way you'd like to do it. Now the next thing you want to do is to take this shape and start to decorate it with patterns. Now I've chosen to use a pencil to decorate mine, and then I'm going to go over the top of it with a pen. You can also use some of your colored pens or colored pencils if you'd like to, or you can use a ballpoint pen. Whatever you choose to do, it would be a fun way to think about shapes and patterns and just decorate whatever way you'd like to. You can look at patterns that you see on fabric or patterns that you find in coloring books and just use your imagination and add some details to this. Once you've drawn this out, you want to add the color if you're going to add color to it or I'm going to draw with a pen and add the details with my pen. Now I started on this side and I'm just going to finish it real quick so you can see. I just carefully go over the top of the lines that I drew first in pencil. I draw it in pencil first because I want to see what the patterns look like before I put down the pen on top of it.
Once you have it decorated, you want to cut out your birds. To make our birds stand up, we're going to take a large paper clip and bend it so that at the bottom you have an area that will stand up like a foot and at the top, the smaller part of the paper clip, you can bend this up straight like, like this so that you have something that stands up. And then we're going to attach our bird to it and so that they can stand up as well. You can use the large side or the small side, depending on the bird, if you want them to be up higher or you want them to be lower. The next step you want to do is to tape down your paper clip. Now before you glue it, double check to make sure that your bird is going to stand up when you have the paper clip on it. So position it so it's standing up. I'm going to have mine eat, look like he's eating off the ground. So I'm going to lay that there and then I'm going to take my other bird lay them over the top of it and I'm going to place glue on them so I can glue them together. Try to get it right up to the edges. A method to help you keep these flat and make sure that they dry very tightly together is to lay a book on top of the pieces of paper while they are drying. The weight will push the two pieces of cardstock together and so you have a nice tight fit. We're going to let this dry for a few minutes and come back and see our finished product. Okay, so we've given some time for our paper sculpture to dry. Let's see how our little birdies have fared. Well, as you can see, the book has really helped to lay these flat and keep them together so they dried nice and straight. See if they stand up. Okay, if you have some problems with yours not standing up, just adjust your paper clip a little bit. And at this point, if you want to add some more decorations, you can think about adding some color with a color pencil or crayon or marker, maybe even gluing on some feathers if you want to, or ribbon and even make it a little blingy with some jewels or glitter. Anything that you add to it will make it uniquely yours. With a little bit of time and a few simple materials, you can make a really fun paper sculpture. Use it as a decoration for your desk or a shelf, maybe a table in your house. You might even want to try it as a nice party favor at your next event. When you're finished, why don't you send us a picture? We'd love to see where you've placed this paper sculpture. And until the next time, Make sure to have fun and go be creative.